What's up, girl bosses? Today we're checking out a song from a band that you may not have heard and likely have not heard. These guys are fantastic. This is Worm, and they are a death doom band based in Florida. Uh, they're not new to the scene, but they're uh, newly popular because in 2021 they released an album, Forever Glade, which is a fantastic album. If I came across it in 2021, I probably would have put it on like the albums of the year list, but unfortunately I listened to it earlier this year, so I, I was a bit late to it. But they got a mini uh, uh, album coming out, so an EP. Uh, in October, I believe, called Blue Nothing, and I'm very, very excited for that. This is Shadow Side Kingdom, and I say we get into it. Before we do, really appreciate it. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel. It's free. Helps me out a ton. Helps you find new music, much like Worm. Wow. Also, in the description down below, you can find all my social media links, merch, music, and more. Let's do it, Shadow Side Kingdom. <laughs> It's like, they do a little bit of that, like, spectral voice type ambience. But I say this all the time, I'm a huge sucker for ambience, so this band's like right up my alley. It just sounds like, <laughs> it's funny, it sounds like the cover. Oh, that's great. Nice progression there. Getting a little bit of like Cradle of Filth vibes. But like Cradle of Filth is like known to do like this type of gothic style ambience. Fucking clean. That's close to a tone you'd hear from like death. Love the harmonization. Oh, it's this fantastic acoustic playing. There we go. Love that popping off the uh, blast piece into the just double kick. Fuck. Loving the lead. Nice switch up to the muted drum picking. Dude, the lead tone is so nice. <laughs> Oh, 
We're getting a little thrashing now, honestly. Gets it. <laughs> it turns into moments where it's like if Rings of Saturn was a black metal band, and I love that. Great artistry, man. Fucking sweeping, man. Wait, how far in are we? Oh, that's the song. The saddest part, the worst part is the ending. That was fucking sick. That was great. That was a really nice balance of like. Uh, oh my god, let's talk about like the mix a little bit because like it's it's tough when you do like this type of ambient symphonic like orchestral type of stuff um, Just because like that's so much to balance in the mix and what I really do like about this It's it's kind of like true to that black metal mix, but nothing's like lost right drums are clear guitars are clear and that like very ethereal very full ambience is clear which is probably like the hardest part to balance because that ambience usually like takes up like every fucking frequency range so it can drown out anything it, it, it pleases uh, but yeah, fantastic, fantastic song. Great, great soloing. I feel like I never um, really praise soloing that much because I used I used to listen to so much, so much Megadeth, and it's kind of hard to compare solos to you know uh, in any other scene to the thrash metal scene. But here, like that was fucking sick. That was some clean, clean stuff. Like, oh yeah, great sweeping, great harmonization. I like I like the what what's that pedal? It's like a chromatics pedal or whatever it is. That's probably what they used there, but that was that was some nice stuff. Fantastic, fantastic stuff. Super inspirational too, and it's just like a nice blend of a lot of um, honestly some other bands, some older bands from the '90s in that Florida scene. So like we, I feel like I heard a, a few like um, tones I would hear in Death, uh, a few like uh, structures in the guitar is similar to like something Morbid Angel would do. Maybe Morbid Angel's the closest uh, I can think of just in terms of like the rhythm sections. But this wasn't very. Uh, rhythm intensive song so it's not like it's just like another morbid angel or anything honestly the furthest from it i feel like i don't hear music like this <laughs> that much anymore and even like you know when i was into it exploring around the genre a little more i feel like i wasn't fully able to find something quite like this there are always bands that kind of tiptoed around it like um gay creepers are more on like the bouncy side of things but they have a kind of similar uh, vibe much much less of the uh, sort of like gothic and like pure black metal stuff but uh, more on the rhythm side of things ooh there's there's another band that I can't quite uh, think of they had like a little green album cover with a bunch of like little zombies and they're like ah, and they're in like space it's a fantastic album whatever that album is I can't remember what it's called um, but yeah really really great stuff from Worm excited for Blue Nothing it's only a four song uh, EP, but of course they're all like they're fucking long songs. So the first one's uh, Blue Nothing. Uh, second track is Centuries of Ooze. Two, third is Invoking the Dragon Moon. Fourth is Shadow Side Kingdom. It's like fucking Dungeons and Dragons metal. Love it. So four songs, 26 minutes. I'm really really excited for that. I think it's gonna be fantastic. They also have like in in uh, in line with the whole like blackened uh, met or. Not blackened, but the black metal vibe. They don't. They go by aliases. So we got you know Phantom Slaughter on vocals, guitar, bass, and synth. We got Roth uh, Septentrion on guitar and Necromantic Shred, <laughs> and then we got Nihilistic Manifesto on guitars. It's <laughs> I like how these guys like are like concepts. Uh, Necreon bass, L Dusk, 
drums. Charlie Corin drums. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, really, really excited for this stuff. I do like the whole aesthetic they got going on, like kind of pulling a little bit from like the, the gothic scene, like especially like uh, what Cradle of Filth has going on with their aesthetic. I feel like they got a similar thing. Uh, it's, it's great to hear this type of music still alive in 2022 and not just alive, but like kicking. Like this stuff's lit. I love that. Like super talented musicians and I'm excited for the, the album. It's going to be exciting. Uh, if this is your first time checking out Warren, make sure you go check out their 2021 album, Forever Glade. Fantastic album. Really, really good stuff. There's something in it for everyone. Really great stuff. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, just because it's likely your first time checking out this band. And we got so much else to in the next one. <laughs>